Because, you know, a lot of people do a double pass on the yard. Mm -hmm. Well, I'll do my double pass after I've string trimmed. Yeah, so I can pick, so pick, I can pick all, all that. The, yeah, yeah. I didn't do that this time. I don't know why I didn't do it. Maybe I was, uh, I nervous, maybe I was under pressure. Bro. Maybe I was under pressure. Bro. Maybe I was under pressure. You had to be nervous, bro. Yeah, but yeah, that's yeah, what I would normally do. Easy out in here. Hey there, it's Pete with GCI Turf. Hope you're having a great day today. And uh, where are we at? Chesapeake. This is Chesapeake, Virginia. Chesapeake, VA, baby. East Coast. East Coast. Uh, my buddy Michael, you know, he come to the house and uh, helped me out with my sod, my bluegrass sod back there. And uh, all that turned out great. And uh, over the past few years, I've become pretty good buddies with Michael. And... Yeah. Me and the family kind of came on down yeah. or up. Yeah, up. <laughs> kind of pack up and go up and, and come check him out from time to time. And I thought it would be cool to do a video with Mike on his yard. Y'all know that <laughs> yeah, when, you, when you watch my videos, you know, I, I holler DIY, but in all reality, I got, you know, a long hair company and I got some different stuff that you know typically a diy guy probably is not going to own i'm straight diy and, and so i thought <laughs> it'd be cool to show you kind of start to finish how mike does his yard so uh yeah i'm gonna let mike take over and <laughs> from start to finish just kind of how you just we, we just filmed it and now we're going to talk you through it that's why i'm sweating yeah he's sweating don't think i'm nervous because i ain't nervous yeah, he, he, <laughs> he, he thought I was gonna mow the grass. I'm like, nah, uh, no, no. I'm chilling. You gonna do the work? I'm gonna. I'm gonna I don't do know about it. Actually, I ain't want him to touch my yard. That boy <laughs> Come cut, on now. That boy cuts crooked. Shit, whatever. <laughs> so, step number one. So basically, uh, the first thing I do is, uh, you know, check all my equipment, basically for gas. You know, you, ain't nothing like getting getting cut in halfway through a yard and you ain't got no gas. So I, I gas everything up. I load everything up from my shed and pull it up front. I don't got a very big yard, but it still makes it easier. I put everything in my gorilla cart. Plus I got to justify it to my wife why, why I bought it. So uh, every, ch every, every, every chance I get, I, I make sure she sees that I'm using that gorilla cart. So I put everything in that thing and wheel it on up front and um, we get going. And uh, my process is basically, I, I, I'm, I like to mow first. Um, I'm sure there's a bunch of different ways you can do it. And then uh, after I mow, I like to edge. And I, I only edge around my bed, as you've seen, and around my fence. And Now, when you say an edge, you're oh, I'm sorry. About string, string trimming, yeah. You're about string trimming. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah, stick. Where the, where the deck of the mower won't get up against yeah, you know, right. the rocks or the, you know, the side Yeah. Of, uh, and I never, I don't, uh, I don't have the best eyes in the world, so I don't like using my uh, string trimmer anywhere on the concrete surface because I, I can't hold that thing straight enough. I, I can barely hold the, the stick edger straight enough. Brother, I've been watching people with stick edge for almost 20 years. I don't know one man I've ever seen that can take a string trimmer and edge it, edge out your concrete yeah. perfectly. And I can do it one time, yeah. but to be consistent with it every single time, yeah. you especially get, uh, get them little waves. Especially and, as a homeowner, I mean, you know, it's, it's something we do what, once, twice a week. So, I mean, I ain't out there every day, all day. Sometimes you got kids and be rushing. Yeah. Honey, it, honey, hurry up and get back inside. You need to watch the kids. You be yeah. rushing and then you, then you side mm. that. So. Yeah, you can't have that. Yeah, we got to have straight lines around here. After I string trim uh, everything, I, I like to break out the uh, stick edger and get all the concrete surfaces. And then uh, then after that, I this is something I've been doing for a while that I kind of got away from and I just started doing it again. I use my old Echo blower now that I got my new, my new steel BR700. I ain't got to keep taking that nozzle assembly off. Uh, leave it on there now. And I like to suck as much of the dirt as I can because um, I, I pull a little bit of dirt out when I stick edge. That was new to me because see, you're, you're in a neighborhood and the, the houses are pretty close together. Yeah. And you got a street. And of course, you want people walking up down the street and that kind of thing. Yeah. That's my biggest thing. I like to get as much of it up as I can, so I, ch I suck it up. And then I'll put my BR-700, and I actually, I don't even blow that in the street. 
uh, I, I blow every. I'll do it one more time. I'll blow it to the to the apron closest to the street, and I, I'll sweep it with a with a regular broom, and I'll get a foxtail and dustpan. And I pick it up. A uh, what? A foxtail. Well, we call it a foxtail. Oh, you talking about the little broom? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. What I, you what do you I call it? I don't even know what it called. Hey, look at here, people. A dust mop. I don't know. A, a dust mop. It. We're talking to a man that calls a forklift a tow motor. <laughs> Come on now. That's right. That's right. You got a point. You got a point. But uh. But look, that that was neat. We, we have what is that thing? An echo? What? It's a. It's just an echo. Uh, they call it a two in one because it it's a vac and a blower. So you take the bag off. And yeah. take that piece off the bottom, and you just put the blower nozzle on it, and it's a and blower. Into a blower. Yeah, so I we, use that for we years. We have a couple of those at work. Yeah. What we use them for is when we're pruning, and then all oh, the yeah, yeah. fall down in the, the mulch or the pine needles, we can kind of be real easy and just pick up the, the bulk of the pruning. But that's the first time I've ever seen anybody use it on their edging like that. Yeah. That's a killer idea. And then a lot of people try to blow those clippings into that edge. Well, the whole reason you made that edge is to show it off. So I like to get everything I can out of the edge. And hey, edging, y'all, you know, as good as anybody, I am peculiar about my edges. And these edges right here are tight. Well, I, I appreciate mean, they tight. I appreciate you. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Once I blow it, um, you know, pick up that little bit, that's that's it. I mean, it's it's quick. I got a small yard. Um, what did you say this was about 2,000? This front, yeah, the front is 2,000. Um, we didn't do the back, but uh, that's about six to 7,000. Um, but I mean, the same thing could be applied to a yard 20,000 square feet. The yard looks good, man. <laughs> it, looks, it looks really good. Yeah. You killing this dude over here. I'm killing the whole neighborhood, brother. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, I'm just kidding. Look, I'm just look. Hey, let me hey, <laughs> hold on. The whole neighborhood. No, nah, hold on, brother. I take that back because look, we got some guys on the program and they watch Pete and they be they be thinking I'm talking look, junk. The whole neighborhood. Nah, he's out there washing now. Look at him walk out there and look at us. Oh yeah, they peep out the window around here. I'm killing the whole neighborhood, brother. That guy over there, he's looking at us right now. Let's wave at him. He's, <laughs> he's looking at us right now. Cool beans, brother. Yeah. Hope y'all. When, when are we having the barbecue? Huh? Huh? Barbecue? Yeah. Ain't you oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, you calling it a barbecue because it's like a, a dinner. Okay. I thought you were saying we was cooking barbecue. <laughs> I thought, I, that's I different. Mean, <laughs> we, I've been messing with him all day long. Hey, look. Trying to figure out what he's fixing for supper. This man scared to death. I'm going to make him some spaghetti. <laughs> uh, Mike has got this bed and right here in front of the porch. He, me and him kind of went back and forth and you know he wanted to do something and I give him ideas and you know what he ended up with was something that's really really cool. Uh, he's got this rock edging that goes around it and you brought in soil right? Didn't yeah you? this is uh yeah this is enhanced soil uh like bed enhancer soil to build it up because uh when we had the house built, they all that sand and stuff from when they when they actually when they poured this poured this porch, yeah. they pushed all that crap right there in the flower beds. Everything to build or plant it, it wouldn't grow. Yeah. I mean, for years. So you had some drainage problems right here. Oh uh, yeah, big time. Big the, I mean, this bed held water like crazy. Yeah. Cause I remember some of the pictures you sent me, and I was like, ugh, you gotta get that fixed, man. So you dug this out and you brought in some fresh dirt, and then. Yeah. This looks like, are these boxwoods right here? Yeah, those are sprinter boxwoods. Sprinter uh, boxwood. Did a lot of research on that. Well, a lot of them will grow in the shade, but these are, these can grow in 100% shade. Because right up here. Because your front yard gets shade almost, almost all day. Uh, out there towards the outside of the bed where the flowers are, they, um, that gets a little bit of sun. But right up here where the boxwoods are, because of the soffit, yeah. it stays shaded. Okay. Stay. Okay. I get nervous when the neighbors come down. Yeah, we well, wouldn't be quiet. I he gets nervous. He, he ain't used to the camera being on him right yeah, in front yeah, of everybody. Yeah. People walking down the street <laughs> looking at him all funny like, what's that dude doing? I'm killing the whole neighborhood, brother. So we got the boxwoods. Of course, we got some mums up here there for fall. Yeah. Uh, but the, you got in the bed, you have variegated liripe. Yep. Where have you seen that before? Mr. Pete. Yeah. Mr. Pete's I, house. That's a good plant. That's yeah. a good, it'll grow almost whatever yeah, and then you've got your outside edge here uh, is your pansies and that that of course you put pansies now and then summertime begonias comes and, you can change them to begonias yeah. whatever uh, as long as it's a 
plant that can tolerate a little bit of so, shade. Oh yeah, yeah, shade. Shade. So, shade. Oh yeah, yeah, shade. Shade. The whole neighborhood, brother. Well, dude, I appreciate you letting oh, me. What? You show them these right here. Show them what? Fake, these are my fake flowers. Oh, that's fake flowers. Yeah, anybody can grow them. I'm killing the whole neighborhood, brother. <laughs> he got some fake bushes over uh, here, man. The whole neighborhood. Well, dude, I appreciate you letting me come up here and hang out with you. Oh, yeah. We're going to be here and eat supper with you and then oh, yeah, uh, we'll probably go out and get some breakfast in the morning and then come back and just hang out for yeah. half a day and then we'll we'll have to take, on, take off back home. Up. Yeah. So, I appreciate you coming. Just kind of a chill Come out. By anytime. Relax time. And, Family's out in the backyard enjoying the yep. play set. Yep. So I'm gonna, <laughs> we're going to cut the camera off and we're going to go back there and hang out too. As always, I appreciate you taking time out of your day to watch. I'll check you later. Y'all have a good one now.